Alrighty, we are in third grade angels, starting at chapter one. Here we go. I heard it first in kindergarten. First grade babies, second grade cats, third grade angels, fourth grade rats. I didn't like being a first grade baby. I wasn't a baby. I didn't like being a second grade cat. I like dogs. All this time I've been waiting to be an angel, and now I am. Today was the first day of third grade. We could see it from the hallway as we headed for our new classroom. It was right on the door, a big sign, welcome angels. Our new teacher, Mrs. Sims, was standing there saying it to each of us as we entered the classroom. Welcome Angel Brett, welcome Angel Heather, welcome Angel Emma. Amazing, how did she know our names already? She shook each student's hand. When it was my turn, she shook my hand and said, welcome Angel George. Only my teachers call me George, my real name is Suds. When we were all in our seats, Mrs. Sims gave us the biggest smile I've ever seen. I knew right away that we were the best class she ever had. I fired my best smile back at her. She held out her, she held out her arms. Good morning, angels. Good morning, we shouted back. A boy beside me added, teacher, we all laughed. Are you the boss angel? The same boy asked. Half of us were shocked and half laughed. Mrs. Sims laughed. She thought about it. She nodded. Yes, I guess you could say I'm the boss angel, but Joseph, she turned to the board and wrote her name in big letters. You can call me Mrs. Sims. Joseph nodded and looked across the aisle at me and said, cool, I didn't know him. I figured he must be new. All right, said Mrs. Sims. Let's talk about angels for a minute. You've been a baby and you've been a cat and you know what they are, but what about angels? What's an angel? Her eyes swept over the class, hands went up. A spirit, said Raymond Venati. A dead person with wings, said Holly Briscoe. Big white wings, Jeremy Muntz called out without raising his hand. Judy Billings was sitting in front of me. It was no accident. I rushed to get the seat behind her. Her hand shot in the air. Oh, oh, she went. Yes, Judy, said Mrs. Sims. Judy stood there. Judy stood even though the others didn't. Perfect in every way. The way she said it, so sure. I got the impression she knew a couple of angels personally. Mrs. Sims pointed to her. Good, all good answers. She motioned the rest of the hands to go down. Now let's talk about... Christina Serrano practically screamed. Mrs. Sims, your earrings are angels. She was right. Dangling from Mrs. Sims's ears were little silver angels with wings. A couple of kids clapped. A couple said, cool. Beside me, the new Joseph kid said, you to chick but not loud enough for the teacher to hear. Mrs. Sims bowed. Thank you, thank you, friends. You are very observant. Last year's class didn't notice till the third day of school. She clapped her hands. All right, now, where were we? She pointed to Judy Billings again. Yes, perfection. I've heard that too. Whatever angels may be, everybody seems to figure that they're perfect, all right? She looked us over. Show of hands, anybody here perfect? We all turned around to see if any hands went up. One did. Mrs. Sims seemed surprised. Well, 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 Joseph, congratulations to you. Joseph grinned and slapped his own hand down. Nah, just kidding. Mrs. Sims pretended to wipe her brow. Whew, had me worried there for a second. I wouldn't know what to do with a perfect third grader. Send him to angel school, someone piped up. Everybody laughed, Mrs. Sims hardest of all. It was only when she stared at me and gave me a thumbs up that I suddenly realized something. The one who said it was me. I couldn't believe it. I never did anything like that in my life. I never speak in class unless I raise my hand first. What got into me? I wondered if it had something to do with sitting next to Joseph. I can see I'm going to love this class, said Mrs. Sims. Okay, angels are perfect. Real angels, that is. But we're not really real angels, are we? We're third grade angels, people type angels, right? Right, came the calls. So, she went on, the best we can do is she waited to build up the suspense. The best we can do. A couple huhs popped up. In other words, said Mrs. Sims, in order to be good third grade angels, all you have to do is do your best. She looked us over. Got it? Got it, we said. Okay, said Mrs. Sims, but I know you guys. You like a little reward for your trouble, right? Right. You want a little prize at the end of the road to make it all worthwhile, right? Right. Well, she said, she reached into her desk drawer. Have I got a prize for you? I wonder what the prize is gonna be. 
All right, that was the end of chapter one. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.